neural networks can be used in a large variety of problem areas, including machine translation. Today, let's take a look at one important concept that will help lay the foundations for understanding neural networks, mathematical functions. Each neural network represents a particular function. For each input, the network calculates an output value. Let's take a look at one particular function. This function accepts as input a letter of the English alphabet. The job of this function is to categorize each letter as either a vowel or as a consonant. In this example, our function is denoted by f. Inside the parentheses, the input to function f is denoted as x. After function f calculates an output value for a particular input x, we denote that output as y. Eventually, we might want to build a neural network that implements this function. Given such a neural network, we could provide the network with an input that represents one of the letters in the English alphabet. Given this input, the neural network would calculate an output value. For each possible input, a function must calculate an output. Our function is designed to map from English letters to either consonant or vowel. The set of possible input values is called the domain. Here, the domain is the set of lowercase English letters. The set of possible output values is called the range. Here, the range is the set consonant, vowel. Given the English letter A, our function should return the value vowel. Given the English letter B, our function should return the value consonant. Our function should return the value vowel when the input to the function is A, E, I, O, or U. On the other hand, our function should return the value consonant when the input to the function is b, c, d, f, g, h, j, k, l, m, n, p, q, R, S, T, V, W, X, Y, or Z.
One way to implement a function is by using a general purpose programming language. Here is example code using the Swift programming language that implements the function from the previous page. This code defines an enumeration called English letter that defines the domain of the function, an enumeration called speech sound that defines the range of the function, and a function called f that maps each item from the domain to exactly one value from the range. This code checks to see if x is the English letter A, or the English letter E, or the English letter I, or the English letter O, or the English letter U. If x is any of these values, the function returns the value vowel. Otherwise, the function returns the value consonant. In order to represent this same function using a neural network, we will need to use a much different technique. Instead of writing code like this, using a general purpose programming language, we will design a special kind of connected graph with weighted edges. We will discuss the details of that process in another video. This presentation was created and narrated by Lane Schwartz. You are free to reproduce and adapt this work under the terms of the Creative Commons Attribution Sharealike 4.0 International License.